Generic greetings and welcome back once again to Prison Architect. Today's beverages. Uh, interestingly mm. named Burnt Lemon Soda. What makes it different from a standard lemonade? <laughs> I have no idea. Either way, welcome back to Prison Architect. And in the previous episode, we were building this sort of model cell block here, which has got all the security features in place. So things like perimeter wall, footbridges, water. And then we repurposed it to be an office space. And then we expanded to the right. We also have a bit of a problem when it comes to that wall. <laughs> because we can't go across the water and we can't build diagonally so we'll just have to remove that either way in this episode we're going to focus on probably a staff only area on the right here and well let's see how we get on so over to deliveries actually what i'm going to do is remove all of the designations here because we need to have probably a slightly better area here let's go over garbage um it's going to be 10 and then exports and then that's going to go down to 10 like so the idea, obviously, we need to uh, just have a slightly bigger area because this is going to be walls. So, yeah, we definitely need to uh, get this staff only area done. That will include things like the offices, the uh, staff canteen. Did I have staff needs on? Yes, I've got staff needs on. Uh, and, uh, like, armory and kennel and the offices and also utilities. On utilities, I did discuss whether we, want, we wanted to focus on either the power station and capacitors or uh, the super capacitors or we go with green energy and I'm pretty confident that uh, green energy was sort of up there in terms of yet yeah, that's where we should be going and I do agree because well we're building from the start we might as well get that in place now and reap the benefits long term that's my overall goal so over to perimeter walls and place that one in there so that is now sorted just going to check the other four corners they are correct and well the workers have got a fair bit to do and i think what we can do here is hang on is that uh that tree stump let me dump that tree stump because it should be and uh, let's go to oh actually let's go with rooms and um, to a forestry this top area is going to be the staff only area this bottom bit at the moment is going to be forestry this might be a temporary permanent solution i'm not entirely sure just yet it was earmarked for um death row but then we could place that elsewhere haven't yet fully decided what this is going to be almost certainly it's just going to sit as forestry um for the immediate uh, sort of uh, future. Let me go over to walls here and to fencing and grass and I just want to put some fencing around there and fencing around here and across here and then basically just get all of this sort of fenced up because well we sort of have to really I guess longer term if we were to have some sort of uh, if we have some sort of death row here, we'll really have to up the security measures. But for now, we'll be all right. So power-wise, as I said, we're going to focus on green energy. And I've picked up the Green Machine Grant, and it needs us to install a solar panel, wind turbine, wind solar hybrid. However, before we do any of that, we need things like a transformer. So it has an inny and an outy, and basically you put in the green energy stuff in one side and you get uh, usable power on the uh, external. So we'll place this in here, and then next to that we'll have a set of batteries which are going to go around. I could potentially have two of these and I'll probably have provision for both, I think. Yeah, most likely. Oh, actually, wait. Is placing that there going to cause a problem? It might. I'm going to move it back a bit. The reason for that is if this becomes a perimeter wall, we can't go through it with the with the utilities. Actually, on that, is about, speaking about utilities, I was thinking of running utilities across the top and then dropping them down. And obviously, you flip that on this side. But if we do that, utilities going here, especially large pipe work, that is going to be a tunneling nightmare. So we don't want to invite that upon ourselves. So we will do the sort of long way around, run it around, and then go up. And same for power as well. Uh, we can go across water. It doesn't say that we can't, but we can't go across this perimeter wall. You can see it's marked out, uh, but we can go across uh, the the center here as well okay so that is now getting installed how are the workers doing they're doing fine i'm just going to go ahead and get another gardener because well once these once these are on the go yeah we'll, we'll definitely need it we've got uh what are, what have we got we've got a lot of workers standing around who are not doing anything is the question oh there we go so the 
transformer is now in, we're going to go with some, where is it, batteries, and then he's going to go around the outside like so. Below that, we are going to go with a power export meter like that, and then we need to put in the, so, the sort of solar stuff. So I'm going to put solar, solar, and solar. I'm going to build three because, you well, you don't have access to the wind turbine unless you build three, even though the Grand uh, doesn't require as... Well, it's, it only basically says install one, but you you basically don't have an option. And let's just place these like that. I could space them out further, and that would mean that, uh, yeah, it, it would be visually a bit better. But frankly, I'm just going to do this. It's just going to... It's it's fine. <laughs> There's no reason why we can't do this. We've, we've worried about the other stuff in the past. So that's now in, and wiring will be connected to the... Yes, the power export meter, otherwise known as the shipping container. And we connect it up to the transformer here. We'll also need some power uh, in like so. And the rest of it, I think, will be connected up fine there's the grant completion i'm going to go with eco friendly so that is to only use green power sources to power your prison instead of power stations for five days so that is fine i'm going to decrease the bank loan to nothing because we are at our maximum credit rating and we are now actually charging some of the batteries it also means that we can go to hang on a second uh storage and we're going to place a storage in here like so and part of this is going to move well most is going to move from this side and i'm just trying to find where is the where is the power station there's a capacitor might as well sell that object we don't need capacitors we've only got we've only got batteries and such and uh, what about here no no where is the power shower heads power stations there it is so might as well sell that uh, water pump we can't sell well i guess we can but it's sort of pointless and let's go with some electrical cables so the electrical cable will come out and then it'll come down and across and in and let's see what that powers i have a feeling it won't get everything water is going to be similar um actually water what we'll do, we'll run water in this side. And this will go, I mean, it'll go up. I don't know how far yet. I haven't yet decided. Let's go with water pump. I can't see can't see this other stuff in electrical. Uh, and then you've got the power one. So it's it basically goes on that square there. So we're going to zoom right in. And then it's water. And there it goes. So the large watt pipe can basically connect to there. Then any other power is going to be set back and then it'll have to run across and round. It shouldn't be a problem. So what is a problem is uh, the lack of cash flow. Uh, but we are actually going to basically start to export some money. Uh, financial compensation is uh, 500 generic units of currency. That will increase as we go for more green energy. So we have to export, where is it? Export 1,000 units of power, 2,500 units of power, then 5,000 units of power, and go from there. Fully charge 100 batteries, and we've got 1% of that. Wow, we are definitely making progress on that one. <laughs> So speaking of progress, let's think about basically the the staff needs and how we look at those. So over to some walls here. I'm actually going to just remove all of the planning like that because we can. And there's the end of that chat. Let me just go ahead and build. I want a couple of things. I want to have like a, a sort of like a security room. Um, so I'm going to mark this as... No, actually, we don't really want a security room right here, do we? We want a staff room. Staff room is going to go in... Well, it's, it doesn't really... I don't really care the size of it, to be honest. We've got so much space that it's sort of arbitrary what, what we do with this. Uh, we will need a staff kitchen and a staff canteen. So we're going to do something like um, maybe that. It's... it's that did that right no 15 no it's oversized but well nothing excels like excess and we're just going to have an entrance in here this will be uh, a fairly big staff room uh, i say fairly big it's actually not that large but we're gonna have staff room and staff canteen i also want probably an area for toilets so we're gonna have little cubicles that are going to go on this side um do i want to run them like there I mean, it's, there's no reason not, because you're going to have to go all, all the way around. Why would I, why would I do that? Um, 
Or do I put them on the other side? Because canteen's going to be that side. That's a lot, lot of overthinking going on. Uh, let me just go and say, we're going to measure, say, 8 in. Uh, and then uh, maybe that one, like so. And this is going to be the staff canteen. So I'm just going to double check for sizing, serving tables. Let's see if I can fit in two serving tables. So one there, one there, and then sort of come down. So I'm just going to go with some planning. And a couple more, isn't it? And that's that. And then it should be 10, which is that one. So that's fine. And then we're going to have a really small kitchen on this side. Like literally, it'll be one. Uh, so you've got your, food, your cookers that side. Then you've got uh, maybe, let's see. So cookers, which will be like that one. And then you've got your row of, say, freezers and then you got wash up there as well and that can come down that's the size of that one okay that's fine and as i mentioned about the uh sort of toilet block thing i'm gonna put it in here and it's not gonna fit in at all is it okay it's gonna be a bit of an odd size but no matter there's your sort of toilet block i don't even need walls technically for this one but anyway that's now in um staff officers can probably go back here i'll leave a, a gap of two and that's going to go up there and we'll go with uh, one. Are we going to get, going to get, oh, perfect size for six. And there's a big space in the middle for no reason other than there just is. But well, as I said, we've got lots of space. Security can go around here and we'll go for that one. Right, okay, that is fine. And oh look, we actually have power, but not power everywhere. So I guess this can come up to about here. And then we'll sort of T-section that off. Water um, will run probably like that. And then we'll run these. The pipe work is going to run up to there. Obviously, I haven't installed the other stuff, but <laughs> we'll get there. Right. Oh, considering a death row to the prison and dark control systems. Yes, okay. So, so we're going to go off with foundations and more. And what do we want for our staff rooms? We've got wall classy green. We've got uh, blue stripes. We've got min up to max sec decayed walls. We've got burgundy. Very nice burgundy walls and cushioned walls. <laughs> There's lots of options, isn't there? I think we're going to go with the... I'm not going to go with glass. What's like a sort of high contrast to this glass and concrete approach that we've got? Oh, there's green energy goal 3 completed. Excellent. We ex export even more power. Uh, what's different to this one? I'm not going to go with Utani or Decayed Walls. I do think maybe the the classy green. Yes, but what flooring would it be? I think we've got green carpet, haven't we? We have got fire-resistant green carpet. I think that's pretty much made my mind up that we're going to go with... That's wall overgrown. No, we're going to go with this one. So we'll build that and then that. And we're going to go with some way in. That normally helps. So walls, doors. We're going to go with a double staff door in here. Going to put another one in here, but also put one on the internal so they can get into this from the other side, which is fine. This one is just going to be a staff door. I'll put one on both sides, actually. And there you go. We're now down to 14,000 generic units of currency. However, a couple of things. Firstly... Forestry is on the go, which is good. And secondly, we are exporting power. How are we doing for power export? I'll have to check in a moment. Let me just uh, go with some power. Let's just plug that in. I'm going to sell that bit of utility there. And is there anything in storage that I can get rid of? Uh, I mean, we're not going to be bothering with the visitor tables, I don't think. I don't think, because we're not going to have parole. I guess, yeah, we'll keep them there for long. Just... Yeah, we might we might have a look at it. So, we're building this one, and we will get... Oh, the long-term investment is going to be done shortly, as is eco-friendly, to be fair. But we are now on to the point where we're going to be making money with forestry and the exports. In fact, I'm very tempted just to, say we're, to charge things up, to even go further with power and go with more wind-solar hybrids, one, two, and that's all we can do. <laughs> well, there's the end of that one. Okay, so that is fine. These officers here will be placed shortly. I guess Oh, we also need somewhere into here. Let's go with some doors and a staff door. And it's going to go there, I think. Oh, we need a way into this room as well. I'm going to place it there. 
Good, okay. We're running low on cash. Yes, we are. That means the game is probably going to shout at us for adding Death Row. Uh, no, we're not going to be adding that. In terms of green energy goals, we'll have a quick look at that. We are on 40% for exporting 2,500 of power, and that increases the power cap so we can make even more money. And then you've also got even more money after that for green energy goal 5, and fully charge 100 batteries, which uh, doubles the output of the green energy sources. But we're on 3%, so I guess we'll... You know what? I'm going to prioritise the building of those because, well, if they're in, it means the building them... Uh, yeah, it means we're making more power. Not so much at night because, well, I guess half of the power... Yeah, not happening. And there we go. There's that in. And then it's going to connect up. Just double check the grid. Hasn't aligned itself. Eventually it'll sync up. And then we'll be in. Looks like this is getting built. Bit of auto lighting in slightly the wrong place. Just going to remove some of those lights. And I'll shift them about. Uh... Do we need to put... Where's the lighting in... In this one? I thought the obje objects would show, but apparently not. Hmm, okay. Uh, less than 24 hours for the long-term investment, which is good. We'll then also do the eco-friendly. I could sack some staff just to get some more money, but don't see any great reason to do that. Uh, charge rate is currently positive, which is fine. Wharf, so water pump is now in as well. Um, I'm tempted to just put another solar panel in there just so it <laughs> looks all right not really too bothered though uh where are all the lighting oh has it stopped all lighting i think it has stopped all lighting when i when i did a right click in here i think it stopped most of the lights it, it did stop all the lights okay well we're just going to place them in a bit of an ad hoc situation just sort of dump them in doesn't need to be exact. As long as there's some sort of lighting in place. There we go. Uh, one, two, three, four. There we go. Good. And this is all working as well. Although that office is not powered up either. Because we're going to have to do that. The rest's powered. There's not going to be any lights on the outside unless we decide that we want those. Hmm. Looks like some of the trees are ready to be dismantled. So, I think, do I want to build another gardener? Build? Hire. <laughs> do I want to hire another gardener and get more workers because we need to export? Hmm. We shall see. Cash flow is not that great. You can see what happens here is that the, the logs, when you've got storage, they take the logs to storage and then they take it to export. It's a bit of a double... Double handling thing there, which is a bit of a shame, but it is what it is. In terms of bureaucracy, we haven't really looked at it too much. We've got surveillance, we've got deployment, intelligence. We haven't got patrols, which I would have thought I got. Uh, yeah, tax relief would be nice as well, but um, with the money that we have, that isn't happening. I definitely don't want to go of under. I don't want to go into a negative balance. As soon as that happens, your bank. Uh, credit rating goes down, so we we can't we can't be having that. That's just not something that uh, we need in our lives. Definitely not. Five hours for that long-term investment. Going to give us sixteen grand, but we did pay a certain amount. We've actually paid twice for it, but <laughs> we'll get there. But yeah, definitely going. Oh yeah, look at that. Uh, bank balance is not very good. Let me just increase that bank loan, and you know what? I am going to go with a couple of workers and. Apparently I can't hire another gardener. There we go. So they'll crack on with that one. Uh, there is export of power and energy green energy goal 4 completed, which is export cap increased to 2,500 units. So we'll be working on then yeah, green energy goal 5, which is increased to 5,000. So we can export 5,000 per day, assuming we're making that. There's the grant completed. I'll get rid of that bank loan. We don't want to be paying off any interest on that one. And we've got... What do we have that we can pick up? We've got Criminally Insane, Basic Farming, Bakery, Restaurant, Reformed. I guess Staff Wellbeing Initiative is probably the easiest one to get. And yeah, let's let's work on that one. So there is the guards done. Let's pause it for a moment 
and I'm gonna put in the green wall classy here. This is for this staff area and well why am I why am why I'm here? While I'm here, let's do a similar thing for uh hang on for this. For that's not right. For the staff room. Sorry, for the officers, not the staff room. And we need power. So our utilities, electrical cable. I'm fairly confident that will just work. Maybe not on this bit, but we shall see. And then we'll get this to staff only. I'm going to have to set up uh, patrols. I'm going to go for psychology. Tax relief I would love to pick up. But we'll get on that in a moment. Okay, staff room then. Staff room is going to go like here and here. And we're going to go with canteen. Staff canteen. Kitchen, which is definitely oversized. Oh! Hmm. Just thought of something. This is where our kitchen's going to be. We need a kitchen to feed the prisoners. It can go in here. It's not a problem. Ideally, it'll be further down, but, well, I don't think it really matters too much, to be honest. Cool. Okay. So, those are working. Let me see. Yes, we can make more money with death row. I am aware. Let's, uh, let's build the staff room to get that technical tick. So we need staff room. We need so wide sofas and drinks machines. I'm going to put the drinks machines up the top just because they look pretty good up there. And sofa. And sofa. And sofa. And a radio. And there's that grant completed. Let's pick up tax relief. Dogs in tax relief. The reason for that is basically long term. Uh, let's go with security procedure certification. Get that done. There's another grand completed. Let's go with give something back. Oh, that's completed as well. Um, <laughs> and... Inmate health and well-being. Okay. And that's another thing that's going to go here. Right. Well, that's been a bit of an interesting one. Let me go to dismantle objects. And I'm going to dismantle. Dismantle, dismantle. And hopefully I can just use this one now. Because all of these are going to shift. All these officers. These were always temporary. So, get rid of those. And officers. That can be removed and removed. Then we'll place them. Like that. That's curious. I would have thought the power would have reached all the way back there. But it has not. Also, I'm not too sure why that hasn't been built. How curious. Deployment-wise, we can have staff only. The whole thing. Oh, no access. I've obviously not done that properly. Doors. Staff doors. One, two, three, four, five, six. And we might as well sort these out. So office chairs. Like that. You've got office desks. And then finally filing cabinets. Like that. Alright, so that'll be fine. Staff canteen exists. Walls do not exist. Ah, the materials were actually inside there. Let me prioritise the building of that. And obviously all this will be redone. Assign three guards to patrol routes. Okay. So deployment patrols and blue patrol. Patrol route. There's a patrol route. And assign guards. And there's a grand completed. What else do we need to get? Governmental security ratings. That's get... Basically, doggos and an armory. 
fine. We need to look after some of the needs for our guards. Mm. Needs. Let me guess. No psychologist. And staff needs. Bladder bowls and food. Yep, thought so. Okay. We'll focus on that. Um, toilets. Toilets. And cookers. Fridges. Probably don't even need this size, but as like I said, put it in anywhere. Oh, that's the wrong place. So it's gonna it's gonna bug me if power's not in there, so I'll do that. The rest will connect up anywhere. Water wise, um We might get away with a small pipe like that. A small pipe like that. We might get away with it. We'll see. Medical ward and doctors, uh, dog handlers, things like that. We'll, we'll work on that. In due course. Uh, staff canteen. I guess we'll have a look at that too. So, serving tables. Two go in like so. And then... We'll have benches. And tables. Like that. Put one there as well. And then, is there anything else I really need? I'm not sure. Staff needs. Bladder, bowls and food. Yes, that's working. Recreation, comfort. All of that we are working on. Fine. Two dog... We need dog handlers and... Yeah. Definitely need an armory and a kennel. But I'm also very aware that uh, <laughs> there's a lot of building going on. How are we doing for export? Doing okay. But with the money that we have. Wind solar hybrid. I'm going to build to the end. I'm going to put solar in there. I'm going to prioritise the building of that. Building it now is just going to help us. Help us out I think. It means we can just export more. Yeah. Daily cash flow is going up. And we've got all of the forestry here. <laughs> so yes, we've basically removed uh, most barrier to entry when it comes to the the money side of things. Let's pick up. Mm, what do we need to pick up? Well, I'll put CCTV improvement in the queue. Remote access in the queue. Probably not micromanagement just yet. Don't really need... Uh, prison there, but you've, one of the grants is that one. And we'll go with education legal. Basically, we're picking up almost everything. Micromanage you in prison policy, the lot. <laughs> I'll go back and want to say, I'm just going to pick up everything. There's, uh, I don't think any great reason why we can't. Uh, that's now working, which is good. Uh, a lot of these guys are on bricks. And needs are, for the most part, being met. Not food. And how many staff members do we have? We have two cooks. That's enough for what we have here. There's the sandwiches and such. I mean, all of this kitchen, to be fair, this, you only need the, the kitchen for the sinks. So, I mean, this might do for, for the rest of this. I will place a building, however, here. I'm just going to say that there is going to be... That's going to be kitchen for the rest of it if it needs to yeah exist that in that sort of capacity we do need an armory and a kennel i think that's going to be a kennel yeah this is actually far too long what am i thinking far too large far 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 too large um so we'll have it like that actually and two more right there's that cool and then this is going to be a mixture of we need a security room and an armory. Security room. Yep, we can put two CCTVs across there. And then the armory. And then this is going to be a kennel because we're going to have a lot of kennel. And we can build up here. We've got down here. We've got loads of space, like so. So that's now in. Right. Medical ward. Haven't got one of those. Hmm. Interesting. We might have to expand down here for more stuff. I mean, we've got all of this. 
but I do want more green energy. If I was to do that, what would that look like? It would be... Utilities, wind, solar, hybrid. I could just put it right next to it, but I'm not. I'm going to put it there. Which basically means that... Well, for a start, I'll connect it up, because otherwise we're going to have an a bit of an issue, aren't we? Mm. Yeah, I'm just going to bring that down and across. So that's in, which means that. That's the sort of size we can expand to now. So I'm going to shrink this down by a couple. Increase the size of this. We've got these buildings as well. So in these areas, we need to have quite a number of buildings, actually. We need a laundry. I can easily make that a laundry. We need kitchens. We need armories. We need security. We need kennels. Yeah, that's actually quite a big area. All right. Well, we're going to leave there for now. That's been a bit of prison architect. We are definitely moving towards a more sustainable facility. At this stage, we are sort of just <laughs> we're playing the energy export and uh, forestry game rather than prison architect. But that's the, I guess that's the line we've drawn for ourselves. Yeah. All right. Well, next episode, I want to do health and well-being, inmate health and well-being, governmental security ratings. Think about a lot of that other stuff, like when it comes to these other rooms on the right, and maybe even get some cells in because that's you know what you need but we'll see how it goes as always so if you have enjoyed the episode as always comments in the comments thanks very much for watching take care and generic partings